welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what's in my book bag for work. Last time I did like an aesthetically pleasing Pokemon Eevee book bag from Loungefly. This is like actual essentials. This is a messy bag. I'm a messy person and I also work in the animal field or at the time I did this is a seasonal job and it starts back up in the spring again. So we're just going to jump right into it. These are the things that I carry when I go to work. I got this bag at Target. I always look for something functional but something that I won't feel bad if it gets dirty. I used to have these really cute aesthetically pleasing book bags and I still have them but I would wear them to work and they would get destroyed. Even though my bag was always in my locker, they would get gross. This one's from Target, it was like 24 bucks and it's been very handy ever since. First thing that I have are scrunchies. I need scrunchies, there's hair on this. I need scrunchies all the time because I have thick curly hair and when you're working with animals, you want it out of your face because it just annoys you or at least with me it does. So I always try to have scrunchies on hand because I'm bound to lose a couple at some point. Next thing I have is bug spray. Usually I'll keep this in my locker, but bug spray is really important for me because I get bit up a lot. It's kind of a summer to fall jobs early spring as well and the bugs will just bite you up so I get bit by mosquitoes constantly I don't even realize it until it's too late and then they start swelling on my legs mostly sometimes I'll get them on my arm yeah. so this is the off family care one it's unscented um, I feel like no bug spray is ever gonna smell good but like the straight up deep ones like the green packaging are too strong for me um, and I feel like they irritate the people around me so I try to spray it outside of the office and away from the animals next thing I have is my charger which is definitely Definitely messed up. I go to chargers so often it's really annoying I don't take care of them well clearly but I need a charger for my phone because it's bound to die I, I start work at 8 a.m. until like 5 45 6 but I leave my house much earlier than 8 a.m. in order to get on time because public transportation so I try to keep my charger on me in case my battery is running low next thing I have is my switch I like to play Animal Crossing during my lunch breaks or whenever I have free time honestly this is my pride and joy I love Animal Crossing I loved it since the 3ds I did have the GameCube version of it but for some reason I just really wasn't into that one but I do love to play Animal Crossing as much as possible even though my town is not it's not really cute right now next thing I have is another essential this is my wallet this is a Lily Pulitzer camera bag that I turned into my wallet because I'm broke and I don't want to buy it another wallet when I don't really need to. Next thing we have is chapstick. This is a caramel cream one. So this was a holiday one that I got last year and I'm just trying to use it up. I lose these often but chapstick is really important to me. Earlier in the spring like when we were on lockdown and we were still working my lips were getting so dry and dehydrated that they were just cracking and bleeding and I've never been someone to experience that so I've learned my lesson and now I carry lip balm with me as much as possible. I think I just wasn't drinking enough water. I'm generally a good water drinker but I was taking pre workout before work and I think the caffeine in that was just drying me out. Next thing is another essential but pretty random. These are saline nasal drops. So what happened was last year or I think the year before that actually I was working during the fall and for some reason I started having extreme nose pain in one of my nostrils like I could barely touch my nose on the outside without it hurting like crazy. I think it was just a change from like humid hot weather to like cooler temperatures in fall that really messed up my nose. Like it was so painful. I was getting random nosebleeds and it's not something that I ever experienced before. So I started getting these saline drops and they're amazing. They just are. I have a bunch of these. Um, but I haven't had to use this for 2020 as much as I did for 2019. I have a reusable straw. This one's dirty. I definitely need to wash it. Um, you know, trying to stay away from plastic as much as possible. This is from Target. And it comes in a bunch of different colors but these are fun and they're easy to carry and there is a carrying case i just can't find it or my fiance has it i'm not sure but these are cool i have a bottle of advil i have a way bigger one in my locker this is an absolute necessity i get headaches a lot at work you know you're picking up a lot of like manure and bales of hay and straw and i'm my arm strength isn't there. Um, sometimes you hurt your back. Sometimes you just have a headache from not eating enough or not drinking enough water. So I always try to have Advil with me or I will just be miserable for the rest of the day. Next thing we have is a bottle of hand sanitizer and I clearly need to fill this one up because it is completely out. This is from Walgreens, but you know, trying to stay as clean as possible. It's just hard to wash your hands when you're on public transportation because sometimes my bus ride will be like an hour and then I'm not gonna be able to wash my hands until I get home, so I always try to keep hand sanitizer with me at all times. I have a busted piece of a pen. I don't know why that's in there, but it's in there. These are some Samsung, these are my fiance's. They're like little earbud headphone type things, and they're not even in the case, so 
I don't know what I did with them. These are like wireless. I have a glasses case. I wear glasses all the time, but it gets foggy with my mask and I haven't gotten anything. Like there's little sprays for your glasses so they don't get foggy, but some of them can mess up your coating. So you have to make sure you're getting the right one. And that's a lot for me. So I just put them in a traveling case. Or I learned my lesson because earlier during quarantine, during the shutdown, I didn't and I lost them. And I recently got them back. So like I paid for a new pair. So I'm trying to make sure not to lose them by actually carrying my glasses case you see like there's just simple solutions to things and I always have to learn the hard way and that really bothers me but I glasses case in my book bag I need to have it oh my gosh this ripped nice we're down to the last two items I have a t-shirt usually I'll also keep leggings here just a second change of clothes because it's really gross working with animals um, I love it though I love animals but you know you're dealing with a lot of manure like I said a lot of just food and poop and pee and all kinds of things so I always try to leave with fresh pair of clothing doesn't always happen though sometimes I'm too tired and I just leave with my khaki pants and my work shirt and then I call it a day but generally a pair of leggings a t-shirt just helps make the end of your day smoother and then last but not least I have a hair cream um, this changes all the time usually it's a spray bottle type of thing this is the Eva NYC satin dream leave-in cream which I'm gonna do a review for which I'm glad I have it here because now that reminded me that I have to do a review for it something to tame the frizz basically even though frizz is inevitable as we can see when I have my hair tied up all day it takes a toll on my curls and not necessarily in a bad way but just aesthetically it doesn't look as nice at the end of the day so I try to like put something on it um, but yeah I'm it's not my main concern but you know after I leave work, I still have like an hour commute, so I like to have something at least. But anyway, that's what's in my bag. Um, sometimes more things, sometimes less things. I do have a locker, so some of these products do stay usually in my locker. But I'm no longer working there anyway. Like I said, it's a seasonal job. Working with animals is a lot of fun. But there's a lot of other stuff that comes with it, so you always have to be prepared. And yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You have no idea. And yeah, I will see you with another video very soon. Maybe tomorrow, since I think we're still in the middle of Vlogmas. So... Let me know how you've been feeling about Vlogmas. If you have any ideas, any suggestions on what you think I should do, let me know down below, and I will see you next time with another video. Bye.